So Jason's on, um, I think Facebook, and he sees this, like, meme. And it said the most stupidest thing I think I've ever read. It said, rich people need to be like the working class and start and get a real job and start working like the rest of us and stop um piggy tailing off the piggy tailing and living off the working class and i sat there and i was thinking no rich people don't live off the middle class or the poor at all they don't piggyback on them at all. And I, I, I just see that. And, and the fucking assholes saying that rich people don't have jobs. I believe they do have jobs. And usually they stay about 16 hours a day on their job. They work hard for what they earn. And, and yet you can bitch and complain and say, oh, it's unfair because they're making more money than me, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, that's the position they're in. You know, I, I'm sure they didn't ask to be in that position. It's a very hard position to be. But to say that they're living off you guys is complete fucking lies. If anything, you guys are living off them through taxes because most of you guys are on the welfare system. And you're taking the money from the rich people and you're using it for yourself. And then you're bitching about the rich. While you get to while you get to work 40 hours a week or 28 hours, 38 hours because you're probably part-time because most jobs are part-time. And then you go collect your little welfare check and your fucking food stamps and you know, have a good old fucking day. Don't, don't I, I mean, I'm not really knocking the lifestyle. I lived that lifestyle for years. Most of my life, in fact. I was on welfare. Because you can't fucking survive on a fucking income like yours. But to blame it on the rich is so fucking unfair. You can't fucking blame that shit on the rich. What you should be blaming it on is your government, especially your democratic government. Because, see, while they're not voting to raise the minimum wage up, they certainly are voting to uh, raise their salaries. And I think it's happened now 21 times the Democrats have voted to raise their salaries, and it's gone through, while they've denied you guys minimum wage increase. Let's see. Let's say they increase the minimum wage. <coughs> it's not going to do the company any good because they're still being paid the same same rate. If anything, the company's going to take a loss. Someone's going to get fired for that. What they need to do is start putting limits, limits, and putting laws and establishing laws over rent. Oh, did you hear that? They need to lower the fucking rent. You know, you know that one guy that ran the rent's too damn high? That's what they need to do. The government needs to go and put themselves in the in areas around the country and see what the uh, mixture like do a census for instance and um figure out who who's middle class who's you know lower class and how much rent is in that area and then do a mandatory um lowering of um rent so it can fit the minimum wage standards i say 40 hours a week you know Make the rent like 40 hours a week and then, you know, the comp the mortgage companies can figure out what the fuck they're going to do after that, you know. But I think the government needs to interfere with rent and rent only. I don't think, I don't think raising the minimum wage is going to do any fucking good because you're be damaging the companies. What we need to do is put limit on the rent. We need to fucking just stop this fucking homeless shit in this country knowing there's houses that no one's living in that someone could live in how about give everyone in America a house and then we just work for 
m m what we need. I say that fucking works. That's what they used to do before they started saying, Oh, this is my land. This is my land. You pay for this amount. You pay for this amount. You pay for this house. You pay for this house. Now people all will have houses. And we solve problems in this country. And we can finally, you know, get our shit together. You know, have government contracted housing for the poor. There. Problem solved. Take all those abandoned houses and fill them up with poor people. It's not that fucking hard. But. Our government's gonna fail on that because they don't listen. They don't see a brilliant idea. A brilliant plan, but no. Rich people do not piggy pat piggyback on the poor people. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. At least you guys have fucking jobs. I wouldn't fucking complain much. At least you have fucking jobs. Better than with Obama. He didn't get, have, have any jobs. Now you have fucking jobs in this country because of Trump. You should thank him. This month of October... He brought in 138,000 jobs into the country. You should thank the president for that. And Nancy Pelosi came along and said that wasn't good enough. Fuck. Obama sometimes would bring in 5,000 or 8,000 jobs. Ooh. It's okay, though. It's okay, though. To be trampled over the feet of man and treated like total horseshit because they're fucking jealous that you they have something that you don't or you have something that they don't. And I think that's all these comments are. It's jealousy. It's jealousy. You're working your ass off and you're not getting anywhere. Yeah, most people are. Are working their ass off and not getting anywhere. The Stuck in that fucking cycle for fucking years. And I hated it. And I understand the frustration. But you can't blame rich people for it. It's just how life is. You work. You know, your grandparents would fucking roll under their fucking tables how fucking lazy this generation is. Like, it's like, you got a job and you're complaining you have a job. You know, we're talking about people who fucking lived in shacks. And here you are living in an apartment and you have cable internet. But yet you're still fucking complaining because you have to work. You can't sit on your ass all day and stay on the internet. Trust me, it's not the best of lifestyles. You eventually get bored of the internet and want to go out and actually do shit with your life. Like, me and Jason, we're getting jobs. Not because we have to, but because we kind of want to. We're tired of just... Eh. Not doing anything. We have a purpose in life, and we're going to serve it. Which is to grow delicious, beautiful weed. I think I'm good with that. Growing marijuana. Oh, hello, handsome. Hi. I love you. Ooh. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. To to say that. The rich piggy off the working class is so fucking stupid. Especially when it's the rich that is providing the fucking jobs and you're the one who's the indentured servant to them. Oh well. You guys can go be liberal morons and whine and cry that you have to work. Suck it up, buttercups. We all have to work. 
We all have to work. It's life. Poor you. You have to have a job. When?